In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create our services slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. You can see here, you can add your main service name, some de detailed text and icon here. And then you can add some uh, company image here. And when I click, it will show you the first service, then the second service, the third service. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the services which you offer. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background. Then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow. Draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So I would like to have this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to add one more circle. Go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval. Draw the oval again by holding the shift key. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then right mouse click, go to the format shape. Under fill, I'm going to select the gradient fill. Here I have used two gradient stops. You can see here the dark purple and the light purple. So depending on the requirement, you can change the color. Then make sure that this particular oval shape is in the center. To make it is in the center, select both the shapes. Go to the align, center, align, middle. All right. Now for this, the bigger oval shape, I'm going to select and I'm going to insert some image. Click on the picture or texture fill. You can see here this image I have selected before. That's the reason it is coming here. Or if you want to insert new image, you can just go to insert. If you want uh, to insert an image from your local PC, select this option or you can just go and choose the online pictures from the internet. Okay, so I have taken this picture from the online pictures. So once this is done, what you need to do is you need to just add some text to it. So go to insert text box and you can add some text for example say our services our main service for example i'm just saying you can just type any text uh, and then the font color i'm going to make it white and the font i'm going to choose the open sans uh, maybe condensed center align and you can put it here all right or if you want you can just make it one line as well and then you put it here and then below what you can do is you can add some detailed text all right add detail text here again white font center align open sans no condense here and reduce the font size like this so once this is done you can add some other services which you're offering Again, for that, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape again, hold the shift key. So depending on the requirement, you can just adjust the size, shape outline, no outline shape fill. I'm going to fill this with white. So if you are offering three services, so I'm going to add a three oval shapes. So press control D to duplicate and bring it down here one and control D one more time. And I'm going to add one more here. All right. So once this is done, you can add some icons. So go to insert, click on icons, and you can choose any icon that reflects your, you can see here, services. So I can just choose this one, this one, and some other service. Maybe I would like to add four, this one, as well as some, this, okay. Move it aside and i'm going to make it as graphic outline purple color and graphic fill make it no fill and graphic outline increase the weight all right and then height and width maybe i'm going to make it as 0.6 and i'm going to put it one here one here one here and if i put one here which is not visible so now graphic outline i have to make it white here all right so once this is done you can add the service name here so i'm going to duplicate this one make it the purple color and you can just say sorry service zero one all right 
and if you want you can increase the font size also and go to insert text box or I can just duplicate this one itself and you can add some detailed text and this again you can maybe you can give some gray color here all right you can see here and make sure this is properly aligned so now this and this I'm going to select and control D to duplicate and I would like to just place it here control D again and place it here all right and then change the number to service number two and service number three and if you like to give more designs also what you can do is you can just select this one or you can just go to insert shapes you can select this okay hold the shift key again shape outline i'm going to give purple and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and if you want you can make it somewhat uh, transparent you can see here like this and you can just keep one or two here and there press ctrl d again this one maybe you can make it white you can see here if you want to reduce the size and you can keep like this one like this here and there you can just add it and then you can add the main headline here i'll just say our services and open sans i'm going to select extra bold increase the size and here services i'm going to use a dark font and r i'm going to choose a light font so you can see here and then if you want you can add some detailed text here equals lorem within bracket one and here i can add some text and i can give some white color or white is not visible maybe again i can go with the dark purple color here and again open sans and reduce the font size that's it your slide is ready and if you want you can give some uh, animation to give the animation select these options one by one and press ctrl g you can see here you can hold the shift key also and select this option and group it all right and here also i'm just going to select this one this one and this one group it all right so to go to, to do the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all for this animation i'm going to do this animation okay this animation add animation more entrance effects select basic zoom click ok and basic zoom should happen from outside so it like this and this one this should happen from inside so i'm going to copy the animation i'm going to select this one click on animation painter and click here and this one it should come from in and this should happen with previous okay if i play it comes like this you can see here all right the same thing which i'm going to do now for this one double click here this one then this one and this one so your animations are done again if you want on click after click whatever you can just do the changes so if i play now you can see here this is how it looks